ericmothethmother.com with a weekend U.S. market analysis for the weekend of April 28th and April 29th, 2018. Let's take a look at markets here with about, let's call it 40 minutes before the close of Friday's session. Let's take a look at the charts here and this is going to be my first video in about three weeks as I had taken a break. All right, let's take a look here and we are looking at a market that is sideways. If we take a look at the weekly chart, we can see that it's uh, pretty much a market that has been range bound. We can say pretty much trading in that range over the last six to five weeks. So it's a tough read at the, at the moment. I think it's very hard to read what the market is trying to do. One thing we can observe here is that if you take a look at recent lows going back to here on the two year weekly chart, we can see we held the RSI 50 level for those lows. These were the lows here, the RSI 50 level held. We had this drop, but it stopped once the RSI 50 held. We had this pullback here, which found support at the RSI 50 level. So if you take a look at this NASDAQ two year weekly chart, we can see that the next major trend is going to be dependent on whether we bounce and hold the 50 level, which might suggest a recovery and a good reason for market to move higher. At the same time, should we go on to break the RSI 50 level, then that is when we can expect a big slide as far as the markets are concerned. Also, if you take a look at this weekly closing low, and this weekly closing low, we can draw a trend line. Should be something like that. This trend line happens also to give us the lows of this week. So we can see that as long as the market is holding above the line, then we can conclude that the market remains stable. Now, of course, at some point, should we break below that trend line, then we would be pretty much expecting lower prices. And again, we can also look at this from a different point of view. We can see this line here connecting the weekly closing low there and there. You take this weekly closing high there and this close on a weekly basis. You see that we are stuck in this wedge. So not a lot of guidance. In fact, you can see this clearly if you take a look at the daily chart for the NASDAQ. The fact that we are trading between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average means that we are range, range bound. As you can see, the market is trying to decide what to do as it trades between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. Not a lot of guidance in my opinion because we are trading between these two moving averages. And also we can see that on the daily RSI, there is a line connecting RSI lows and there's a line connecting RSI highs. And even this line is forming a wedge. So at some point, the market is going to have to decide whether it breaks out above the wedge for a move higher or whether it breaks below the wedge to begin a move lower. So that is going to have to play out in the coming days, if not in the coming weeks. And another way to express this is to take the daily closing low here. And this daily closing low, you see a nice trend line, which again gave us the lows of the week. Right there. And then we also have top side. If you take the daily closing high here, and this daily closing high, you find a nice trend line there. So we are stuck in a range. At some point, the market is going to again have to decide whether it wants to move above the range for a move higher or break down below this wedge for a move lower. So again, we see another chart telling us that the market seems to be in a range bound type of indecisive market range. On a very short term basis, take a look at the NASDAQ 30 minute chart and we can see that 
This has been the problem over the last day or so. Market has tried to rally, but it only came back to test this back test of this line. So as long as we are seeing resistance on this line, the market remains on a short term basis to be sideways to down. And again, this is just short term where we look like we are sideways to down as long as we are seeing resistance on this blue line on the RSI. If we take a quick look at the Dow weekly, just like we saw with the NASDAQ, we soon seem to be stuck in a range where we have the RSI, the price lows and the price highs forming a nice wedge. And so until we come out of this range, either we break below the range for a move lower or we break out above the range for a move higher. This market seems to continue to be sideways, a lot of indecision. Also, we are stuck between the 13 week moving average and the 34 week moving average. So 13 week moving average and the 34 week moving average, which is pretty much another way of confirming that we are stuck in a sideways market. The main direction in terms of a big swing trade is going to be dependent on whether we can hold the RSI 50 on the weekly as we have been doing over the last couple of years or if we break below that. So if the RSI on the weekly for the Dow can continue coiling up, that's very bullish. If we cannot hold and if we break below the RSI 50 on the weekly, expect the market to crack and to test recent lows, if not violate recent lows. Bottom line is loss of indecision can be seen in the market, which is confirmed by the Dow trading below the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. So that in fact is trading between the 50 and the 200 day, which is a market that is confirming that it is sideways and really we are going to have to wait for the market to get out of this range for the next potential swing trade. So as long as we are trading between the moving averages, pretty much we can conclude this market is range bound. If we take a look at the monthly, one of the keys as we begin the new month next week is whether the Dow can continue holding above 69.1. If the Dow can hold above 69.1, that's bullish, of course. And if the Dow is unable to hold above 69.1, that would be bearish. Keep in mind when the Dow is moving higher with pace and strength, this is when the RSI was holding above 69.1 since, let's call it about January of 2017. So if the Dow wants to move higher, the first order of business is for the market to hold above the 69.1 threshold. If we take a look at the S&P 500 30 minute chart, just like we saw with the NASDAQ, we can see that the S&P 500 is coming back or has come back to test this line and seems to be showing rejection. So as long as we are seeing rejection on a short term basis, this suggests that short term 30 minute to 30 minute, hour to hour, looks like the market right now is still pointing to a potential for lower prices as long as we are seeing resistance on this line. So short term, until we can break above this line, market looks like it is sideways to slightly down. And also we can look at this from a different point of view, which is to figure out where we broke down recently, which is this break. the break right there and we've come back to test that break and the market so far has been unable to move above that line so short term looks like this is the the line where the market needs to move above so if I can bring back the previous line we can see that short term the resistance levels here those two lines are rejecting the market suggesting that until we can move above those lines net net we can expect the market to be sideways to slightly down 
And of course, if you take a look at the monthly for the S&P 500, the key, especially once we begin the new month, is whether or not we can hold above 69.1. This is a requirement if the market wants to move higher, just like we did here. Once we moved above 69.1, we had a successful bullish 2017 market because the market held above 69.1, similar to when we held above 69.1 from 2003 to 2015 this period was bullish net net because the RSI net net held above 69.1 so as we go in the new month key to watch is S&P 500 whether it is holding above 69.1 or not keep in mind should we have a rejection let's say if the new month of May sees the market coil down and con confirm that it was rejected at the 69.1 level the rejection at 69.1 would be a major bearish signal it would be similar let's say to this period here where we had a rejection of, of the RSI 69.1 level so a rejection would be responsible for a market that would see a pullback similar to this pullback here so the new month let's watch keep an eye on the monthly RSI level of 69.1 anything above that would be bullish of course and anything showing a market trading below 69.1 would be bearish so that concludes the free portion which is for the public the remaining portion of this video is gonna be for moather.com paid subscribers enjoy your weekend Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, see you in the next edition. For subscribers, let's continue on.